feel. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just stuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. They stay on the ground again. It's Hunt. Now the ball comes loose, and the Texans scoop it. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. A fumble lost last week, now a fumble lost this week. Uh, is this just growing pains of a rookie? It is growing pains, but they can't afford them. Not him, nor his team. That means extra work during the week with his coaching staff and extra work on his head to make... He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the safety here, Ron Parker. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. And that was a young pump, the rookie being intercepted by a veteran DB. And I loved our quick conversation in pregame with him on the field where he said, hey, look, I love playing these young quarterbacks. They don't know a whole lot yet, so I can use my mind to put me in a position to make a play. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And on second and 10 now. the gun Smith escaping the pressure right and now the ball's loose Smith loses it and the Texans scoop it through an opening and there he goes and put it on the board it's six a touchdown Huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> well, the return, here's C.J. Spiller. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21-yard line. Smith. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And it's a big play there as he is finally taken down on what will be a terrific final act of this first quarter. And now the offense operates in the red zone. They'll try to run with Hunt, and he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And that's a big collision. He's knocked backward as they will mark him down at the 14. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. Of course, he was solid last week. AFC Offensive Player of the Week award. Two touchdowns in that game. Yeah, he's playing at a level right now where he's just breaking down defenses. Makes me remember when I was playing and my defensive back coach told me, listen, if you give up a touchdown pass, that's on me. I didn't coach you well enough. If you give up a second one, that's on you. And if there's a third one, I'm getting someone else in the game. <laughs> Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. 
Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. He'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite an excellent display of footwork. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Well, at that rate, picking up three yards of carry, you and I both know that doesn't cut it in this league in trying to get first downs unless you're playing four-down football. Then that's a whole different situation. But I don't think that's what they're trying to do here. Third and four, though, is still manageable. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. Here's Thomas. Oh, nice move. <laughs> So dangerous with a football in his hands. Call that a return of 38. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Smith on first down. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. That's caught by the rookie from Michigan, J.U. Chesson. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. Smith with a give to Hunt. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. They'll run again with Hunt. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Five yards on the pickup, and they're going to have a third down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Smith. Buying time to his left. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Here we go on fourth, Smith, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Gilchrist, and they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard at the 22-yard line. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Here's Watson now on second down. Now he's taken down. A chief sack. Chris Jones in there to sack him for a loss of six. Well, there was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Maybe a free play for Watson. Left side, Hopkins. And, oh, he is really laid out that time. Knocked flat on his back. The round of 37. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. After the penalty, it's Miller. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. 
It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Kareem Hunt and the rest of the offense making their way back out there. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try to loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretary lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. On first and 10, Smith. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And it's caught over the middle. Wilson. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. The Kansas City first, Smith fighting his fellow pro bowler, Kelsey. Smith going to give this one to Hunt. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Still time to go for the win, but they've got to get up and spike it quickly. They run again with Hunt, and he loses the football a second time. And the Texans say they have it. They do. So they lost yardage, and they declined the penalty. There's no logical reasoning to do that. I'm trying to go through this little Rolodex in, in this small brain of mine, and I'm coming up with nothing, partner. I've got zip on that one. Take the yardage, right? Take the penalty. I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it either. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. And before we could even hear from Larry, we're back and ready to go in week five. This one taken from the seven. And he's able to get it up close to the 35, but hang on here. Penalty marker down. And this one might be going the other way. Proceeding team. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. They'll run it now out of the gun. Muscles him off. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Catch made right side by Wilson. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second down. Nine yards still remaining here to pick up the first on second down. On second down, here's Smith. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. 
It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll make it third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Now it's Smith. Caught. It's Wilson. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. They're going to go for it. It's Smith. And it is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. Well, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Now both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. The Texans on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 7. All right, let's go! All right. From the gun, here's Watson. And finding Fedorowicz. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. That throw has to be a quarterback's dream, doesn't it? Big tight end, curling in the middle of the field. So it's great sight lines for him. And when they show their numbers back to the quarterback, when they sit down right there, that should be pitch and catch. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Here's Watson. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now, there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. no. Not at all. Third and long. It's Watson. Dumps it complete to Miller. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So it's only three points on this opening drive of the third quarter. And even though that stretches out the lead, Charles, I think you'd have to consider this a win for the defense, no? Couldn't agree more, Brandon. That offense got themselves in prime position to really open up this ball game, but the drive stalled out. And yeah, three points is very easy to get back in today's NFL. And now here comes Kansas City. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened there. You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. J.J. Watt makes another tackle there, and, and it's for a minimal gain. And let's face it, if that's all you're going to get running the ball, you're not got much success against him and his team. Or, yeah, you better find a way to go around J.J. Watt, which isn't easy to do. It's really not, because you got to try everything. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight.
He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Texans are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. They go play action here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. To throw on second is Watson. And he's got it over the middle. Fedorowicz. Give him 17 on the pick up there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. In the early days of the NFL, you could easily blame these drops on maybe some uneven or uncertain lighting in a stadium. Not anymore. The lights are pretty good. Yeah, they're great here at night, but his second drop indeed, not a good look. False start, offense. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. Faking the give. Now Watson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL. But if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot or running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down, got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now, they've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. This is Miller, and he'll get this only up to about the 35. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Now it's Watson setting up the screen for Miller. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second-guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. Leckler now on as he'll punt this away. Returnable for Thomas. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now. With the Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Wendy Merciless in there to get him, and that's sack number six for him on the year. That's their first time getting to the quarterback, sack number one, and, you know, they had five last week, I remember. And you have to find a way to slow down the pass rush, not necessarily with just protecting your quarterback. But you he rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Andre Howe, and they will score. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them. 
and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Well, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover. You take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. Fresh off the pick six, it's Smith. And an alley to run. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. On first down, it's Smith. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Give him 30 yards there. On first down, Smith. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. And now the ball's loose. Smith loses it. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Even after more than a decade in the league, Smith still one to account for with his legs as he picks up a first. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Smith now to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here... He's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Back to the air, Smith on second down. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And eventually stopped just shy of the goal line right around the two. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit, and another first down. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. A toss play to Hunt. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. But a tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Watson going to give this one to Miller. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. On second down, here's Miller. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The Texans on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and seven. Now it's Miller. And he'll take this one down to the 36. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar. And this score will stay right where it is. 
A good effort there from distance, but he might have needed a little more help from the air conditioning behind him on that one. <laughs> it probably would have helped. This is awfully close to getting there. It was right on target, but it winds up being just a little bit short. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Back to throw. Finds a seam inside the 40. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. He's back to throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? They'll run. This is Hunt. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. again and they'll get him down here at about the five yard line only a yard that time second and goal Smith trying to get him to the line quickly with the clock rolling looking to jam the receivers at the line here press coverage look defensively and he can't get a throw away he's taken down and before they can run this third down play we're going to get a timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game And this offense on third down today, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and goal. Back to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline. Look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And a short return to the six-yard line. I know we have individual minds, but I think we're thinking as one on this one. And one was the number, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, kick the extra point. Now you need a miracle. You need an onside kick quickly to do something spectacular. I mean, going for two there, either they felt like this is all we've got left, we've got to win it right now, or they've got some incredible miracle special teams play to get the ball back and give them one last chance. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. Out to the right here to Wilson. And a loose football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done.
So for Kansas City, they move a step closer to 500 as their record improves to 2-3. and three. And they will head home next week to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for the Texans... They drop below 500 to 2 and 3 with a loss. And they'll try to make amends next week as they host the Cleveland Browns. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night, everybody.